Hello, Prober. Howdy, howdy. Welcome to But It Was Aliens, the extraterrestrial comedy podcast brought to you by two former Mibs. We're so legendary within the Mib that our names can only be whispered within certain circles. Whispered anywhere else and you may have a knock at your door. We have been blessed to bring you some of the strangest aliens to date along with some of the classics. Well, today, we bring you something that even I never knew existed. Girl parts. What are they? Rolling back two seconds. <laughs> Is this a circle that our names can't be whispered within? For I note that you have not introduced us. This is a circle. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to let you go on. Within most media... When there's stories of alien or conspiracy theories, it's often described that the individual or individuals involved are wearing tin foil hats. And in the film Signs, it was these hats that would protect Mel Gibson's family. I'm very confused already. I'm Kev, by the way. (laughs) We have an image of a tin foil hat. Excellent. Not just for nuts. Oh, yeah. Not just, it says not just for nuts on the box for some reason. And (laughs) South Park's Mel Gibson, shirtless, hairy. Excellent. Okay. One of those cases today, is it? One of those cases. We've covered cases previously where there's been reports and sightings of robots that are working for other beings, like the ones in Pascagoula and others. Today... We are heading to Folkville, Alabama. Alabama? And the year is 1973. Your birthday year. In a census in 2020, Folkville had a population of 1,197 people. That's the equivalent of our entire high school when we were there. So you can imagine how it must have been a bit lower in the 70s and how news must have travelled fast. Not a lot of folks in Folksville. I was dying to say that. (laughs) Absolutely dying. October 17th, 26-year-old Jeff Greenhaw, (laughs) Police Chief Greenhaw. Ooh. This wasn't just a rookie, officer, lieutenant or sergeant. This is a police chief, Kevin. So is the police chief above or below captain? Top rank. Would that not be sheriff? No. (laughs) There's no sheriffs in like New York. This is Alabama. No sheriffs in Alabama. This is Folksville, Alabama. It's the chief. (laughs) Well, there's definitely a sheriff telling him (laughs) what to do. (laughs) I can't actually confirm because actually I think the commissioner... Is higher up than the police chief. Ah, yes, Mr. But Gordon. I'm generally running this off movie knowledge rather than American police knowledge. So if anyone <laughs> can tell us a hierarchy of police officers in the US, let us know. I don't think there really is a hierarchy. They just all do what they want, don't they? Probably. And the law! Anyway, I digress. Chief Greenhaw had... <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm good. Had received a call that night. You're a whore. That wasn't the call from a lady who was quite excited, to say the least. The Arr. lady. I'm a whore. <laughs> Fucker. The lady in question Arr. informs Chief Greenhower. <laughs> Greenhower. Oh, Greenhower. That she has seen a spaceship land in an open field within the town. Good on the the lady. She's gone to the police straight away rather than trying to do some silly shit herself. That she has. Well done, lady. You have my respect. Did you take a... Oh, it's 73, so probably not a photo. People weren't generally carrying cameras around them in their pockets just in case back then, were they? It's not like we have phones today. So Big Chief left as quick as he could, but not before he could collect his trusty Polaroid camera. (laughs) (laughs) He's a police chief. Of course he's going to have a Polaroid. Got to catch that evidence. 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 Is that to the tune of physical? Yeah. (laughs) 
Why? Why not? Chief didn't arrive on the scene. <laughs> so Chief didn't arrive on the scene until around 10 p.m. And he was ready for anything. He readied himself and got out the car. Using his trusty Chief flashlight, he went out to find him a spaceship. He looked high, he looked low, but he could not find himself this spaceship. And there was no evidence of there being one either. So you can imagine Big Chief, Big Chief, Big Chief, Big Chief is thinking, this motherfucker do it, do it. has me out here walking up and down in the dark with a Polaroid and a flashlight for nothing. For nothing. God damn it. He continues his search though. He's a chief and he didn't get there by half assing his duties. And what did he find? Just off the side of the road, Chief Green Hawa saw it, a being, Ooh. an alien being. I was expecting you to say he saw the spaceship and that it was going to take off and he's going to get abducted. We've got a being. A being. I hope it's a green being. We haven't had one of those for a little while, it feels like. Ah, oh, I had a thought and now it's just gone. Shit. I don't know why, but my Alabama accent came out like Cartman in South Park. God damn it! I wouldn't even know how to do an Alabama accent. Neither would I, but I'm assuming it's quite southern, isn't it? Mm, probably. Possibly not within my skill set. <laughs> I, I just to... want to go country hick. <laughs> you holler. Yeah, I've got no idea. Hmm. So, did the being get the excited lady first? Or... Hold on. The spaceship's gone, but the being is still there. Two things, two possibilities. Either the spaceship has gone cloaked and the being's investigating, looking for some soil. Or we've got an ET situation going on. The ship has left and oh. they've forgotten the alien, like uh, Home Alone kind of style. Lost in New York. Lost in Alabama. Forgotten or planted? Forgotten for now. We'll see how this being reacts. If it's reacting with aggression, I'm assuming it's scared, therefore it's been forgotten. If it's yeah. all chill, then it's been planted. But what if it was, say for example, its mission was to infiltrate, but it's been spotted? Then it's done a shit job. <laughs> I was about to say, that's a shit fucking Why infiltrate. would you choose that alien <laughs> to leave behind? You'd pick your most skilled, although to be fair, this is an alien planet. What's most skilled on that planet might not be on this planet. Yeah. They might just have to stand still where they're from because their vision works different. They only see movement, for example. So this mother truck is just standing still, bright green, naked. Like a scarecrow. <laughs> Tallywhacker <laughs> flopping in the wind. <laughs> That's about to with its wang. <laughs> if it even has like, one. If I don't move, they won't see me. He's, he's now also from the country. <laughs> well, hey, guys. Uh, earlier on... <laughs> I've just got the, the picture of uh, basically a, a human with a grey's head but green all over. <laughs> naked with a with a penis flopping around. Just like, they won't see me if I don't move. And these cocks flowing in the wind. God damn it. <laughs> so that's how he got spotted. The wind blowing his dick. <laughs> yeah. Well, that and the fact that human eyes work differently and we can see. Well, I mean, in his eyes, the <laughs> wind ruined it. That's what did it, yeah. <laughs> Should have worn pants. So earlier on, I brought up tinfoil hats and yep. how in signs it's a form of protection. Or so they thought. But how do you protect yourself when the alien in front of you is made of tin foil? Put it in the microwave. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a... <laughs> We've got visual evidence, folks. Ladies, gentlemen, everyone not included within those labels, we have what may be one of the worst photos <laughs> that we've had on this show yet. I think you'll find that's a great photo. It's black and white. It um, looks like someone is wearing a tinfoil jacket and trousers. I think you'll find that's black and silver. That's definitely black and white. Something wrong with your eyes. So it's the silver <laughs> from the suit. I can't even make out the head. Like, I can see where the head is supposed to be, but... It's because it's an alien head. It's not going to look how you would normally expect it to look. Basically, someone has taken a photo and applied an Instagram filter. No, they haven't. 1973, Kev. They've taken a Polaroid. black and white picture and they then can't hit the invert button. They cannot put Instagram filters over this shit. This is someone wearing a shell suit. Shell suits weren't created back then. When were shell suits <laughs> created? In the 80s. Can you verify that? Yep. That sounds like a shot in the dark to me. 
This looks like Michael Jackson. How? Um, In his red outfit. <laughs> Give it the thriller. It wasn't thriller in the 80s. Can you verify that? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Sounds like a shot in the dark to me. It's like your Michael Jackson theory. This is like his outfit from Don't Talk Too Good Enough. Yeah. I can't remember it. I remember the song. I don't remember the video. Just a jacket, wasn't it? And Nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> New from the waist down. <laughs> the video is really, really popular. Does this spin? <laughs> <laughs> Moonwalked. Literally. Mooned the crowd. So this photo was taken by the chief, I take it. It's not like a reenactment. No, it's the photo taken the by the The actual chief. photo. We have in front of us. I could be looking at anything here. Alien. So do we get a description of the head to help me make out this? He's wearing high heels, isn't he? No, those are his feet. His right foot looks like it might have a heel. Stylish alien. Could be his alien foot. He's on the catwalk. Mm. We have no idea what his feet or hooves are like. So the chief shouted to the being and asked if... Hold on. Sorry, sorry. I was just taking another look at this head. It looks like he's wearing a Bane mask. What? what? I, I was born in space. <laughs> you really want to visit it? Gobble, gobble, gobble. Was it on the side of the road or in a bush? Side found? of the road. <laughs> Go on. So the chief... You thought I was going to do the impression, didn't you? You merely adopted the impression. I was born in it. Raised in it. Murdered in it. Chief <laughs> shouted to the being and <laughs> asked if they were a foreigner. The being was like, I am an alien. Sounds more like Yoda. Yeah, that happened last time, didn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the first time we did it, I had that impression down. I think it's because I haven't seen that film for a long time. I just hit the microphone stand. Mm. The being didn't answer, but turns towards him and starts walking in his direction. Greenhorn describes that its head and neck were one. With See, an I told you it had a weird head. <laughs> with an antenna on top of its head. It was bright, described like nickel, but smooth as glass. But Greenhorn doesn't believe that it was foil. I know your name, Greenhorn. The movements were mechanical in nature, as it continued to close in on him. Boss the robot I can. Greenhaw managed to get a few pictures. It's even talking like Yoda now. <laughs> Boss the robot I can. <laughs> Talk like this now, I do. And jump into his truck. Forget, forget. As he flicked on the headlights, it appeared to frighten the being, who began to take off. Greenhaw gave chase. Did he? I thought he was running away. But because of the terrain, could only reach speeds of 35 miles an hour. The alien was now moving much, much faster. Greenhaw says it was faster than any human he's ever seen. But how many fast humans has Greenhaw seen? Many. Big Chief was unable to keep up as he lost control of his truck and landed in a ditch. At 35 miles per hour. <laughs> As the tinfoil alien escaped into the night. He lost control at 35 miles per hour. He lost control at 35 miles an hour. And this was the police truck chief. At night because of the terrain. It was bumpy. Bumpy terrain. You didn't even say Not he was smooth. going top speed though. You just said it could reach speeds of 35. He could have been going five here. No, he, was, he could only reach speeds of... Uh, an hour. Okay, so his truck wasn't super shit then. It could have been. So when boom, you boom, said boom. when you said the bean took off, <laughs> I said the being, not the bean. <laughs> <laughs> when the love bean took off, what do you mean by that? <laughs> <sighs> do you mean that it <laughs> legged it? Yep. Or that legged it flew? Because why is it running away? E T mother it was trucker. Scared. No, but where's the spaceship? Well, if it it's took just off and it. left him there. That's what I'm saying. It's evidence that this person was left behind. Left me behind, they did. What if he also felt he couldn't take it near where the spaceship was, or bring him anywhere near where the spaceship was because it could compromise the ship? 
also possible, but I reckon this alien was just super annoying. So the home planet were like, well, killing is against the law on our planet. We can't do that. What we can do is visit another planet and leave this bastard there and take off without him because this mother trucker saw Star Wars and can't stop doing impressions. Sent him on a secret mission and just left him there. Secret mission? I am on. You're on a top secret mission. You must infiltrate planet Earth. Naked. And we will come back and get you in five years. Find out everything you can. They take him, drop him off, never to return. And he's got no idea. None. He's learning all he can, studying this one person <laughs> for five years. Well, legging it from He legs it to watch him from the bushes. <laughs> he thinks this is the mission. <laughs> Learns absolutely nothing. Oh, we've got some more pictures. So are these four different pictures? Yep. They're not just the same They're blown not up. The same. No. I told you he got four. Images of the being. I didn't tell you we got four, but he got four. <laughs> Kev, he got four <laughs> images of the being. There, I told you. You said he took some pictures, didn't you? I think. I just told you he done four. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Chill. Mm. So is the first one from front or back? Because that looks like buttocks. Couldn't tell you. It's a little bit too far away for me to actually say. I'd like to think that he got a photo of the ass. And he was like, look at that alien ass. Three of them, again, just look quite shiny like the person is wearing, as tin you said. Foil, tin foil. Yeah. Not the person wearing. It's a tin foil alien. But then they've got a black t-shirt on. Maybe that's just part of the foil. Mm. If you look in the third picture. I mean, we're, we're thinking of it in it terms like a of a suit. Yeah. Whereas this could be the alien's whole being. This could be the alien naked right now. That could be his war chest. He still looks like he's wearing that Bane mask. Maybe it's just his face. He was born with the mask. What a long face, you say. <laughs> Poor Bane. It's moulded by the foil. It sounds like a plant, doesn't it? Is it not? It might be. I think it might be. Is it on uh, Elder Scrolls or no. something? <laughs> like in The Witcher or something. Yeah. Something Bane. That's Bane. Big Chief Green Horse <laughs> felt incredible after such an encounter. But like most events we've covered, unfortunately, this tale doesn't have a great ending for the chief. Uh-oh, I hope it's not radiation. After getting back and reporting what had happened, he was soon ridiculed by those that had worked under him. And not only those within the force, but the public too. It didn't end there. Soon, Green Hall was receiving death threats. The extreme. And his house mysteriously burned to the ground. His wife also left him, and he was fired from his position as chief by the town council. Got theories in all of those. Council! Greenhaw regains somewhat of a normal life, but he regrets the day that he crossed paths with the tin foil alien. Well, I can't say that I'm surprised. Now, I think that Greenhaw was receiving death threats from Horsebane. The house mysteriously burned down because Horsebane was on his five-year mission and he wanted to see how Green Hoa would react. The wife left Green Hoa for Horsebane. You merely adopted your wife. What is going on with the voice? <laughs> you merely adopted your wife. Now I've got Darth Vader. <laughs> Star Wars on the head, apparently. <laughs> Green Hoa. <laughs> I am the husband of your life. Mm. He was fired from his position as chief because the police employed a Horse new Bane. person. <laughs> his name? <laughs> Horsebane. <laughs> I'm the chief. <laughs> Another photo. <laughs> I can't tell if these are be just being blown up or what. No. Nope. This one looks a little bit different again. It's still like the tuxedo jacket and the tinfoil arms and legs. But it's actually got a visible head this time with a Bane mask. It's much clearer. Mm, Let's look at the size of those eyes. I can't even tell if they are eyes. They're eyes. <laughs> look at the size of them. Verified eyes. Now this is the part of the probe where we turn to science and scepticism. Now there's not really much here, if I'm honest. The Polaroids are legit. 
and some ufologists and scientists believe that these robotic-like creatures act as scouts for other alien beings within the universe. Now, there are some that have decided to pour water on this notion, being attached to this case, and believe that it was a hoax created by Chief Greenhaw and an accomplice in a tinfoil suit. And to those people, I say, Ptui. The Polaroids were sent to and tested by MUFON, who found within one of the negatives a craft. Did they buy Crikey? Now, this isn't even something that was brought up by Greenhaw himself. We also like to see if anyone looked to gain from this case, whether financially or socially. And Greenhaw clearly didn't gain in any of these departments. Greenhaw also doesn't throw the identity of the caller under the bus. Because he was the caller. So, Greenhaw, Greenhoa didn't gain. Doesn't mean that Greenhoa didn't look to gain. Greenhoa thought that this was a really solid idea and that would get him respect in the community. Didn't work out like that. Meanwhile, do we have that craft? The, well, the one that Mufon found. The Mufon found. Where is it? What if I told you it was further down in this probe? Then I'd say, show me the craft. I'd be lying if I told you it was further down in this probe. So they've said they've found a craft and then haven't produced the goods. Oh, that's a shame. Maybe they just lost it. Lost it? What if the negative got stolen? They only had one. Mm, you said they found within one of the negatives. That yeah. implies they had more than one. They had the four. Well, where's the bloody image then? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Where is it? So, right, let's just clear this up, shall we? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> so, to summarise... Where is it? We have... The... <laughs> we have the case of the tin foil alien. Chief Greenhaw receives a call from a member of the public about a craft which had landed in an open field. He checks it out but finds nothing before having one last look and coming across a figure. He asks them if they're a foreigner, but realising what he was looking at, he manages to get some shots off using his camera. Came across a figure, got some shots off. Before the tin foil creature legged it. He gave chase, but crashes into a ditch and the creature gets away. After his report, his life pretty much goes to shit. He gets ridiculed, receives death threats, loses his wife, his job, and has his house burned down in the process. He recovers to somewhat of a normal life, but has always regretted that day. The day that he crossed Horsebane. The tin foil alien. Now, Grey Nuts, are you going to continue to shit on this man, or are you going to be that shining beacon of hope, that belief, that light in the darkness that ex-chief Greenhorn needs. Are you saying that this is aliens? I don't recall shit on him to begin with. I remember you coming across him and getting some shots off. <laughs> I'm not saying that this is aliens, but I am horsebane. <laughs> nah, not aliens. Person in a tinfoil suit, isn't it? I mean, take a look at those pictures again. I will. And tell me that that is a person in a tinfoil suit. That's a person in a tinfoil suit. Really look at those pictures. Look at them. Yeah. Study them. Okay. That looks like someone who's wrapped their arms and legs up in tinfoil. Now tell me that that's a person in a tinfoil suit. It could be a model with tinfoil around it. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> that is so clearly a person in a tinfoil suit just standing yeah. still. Or like you say, a model. There's no movement in it. There's no moving shots. There's no blur. He got four pictures of this thing standing completely still from an old Polaroid. So... The... Where the hell is the spaceship either? Because looking at those pictures, there's not the quality there to make out anything else. No, it's really not. 
really, really isn't. I suppose on that third one, so the second one down on the left, yep. there's two little lines that they could argue is like part of a spaceship or something, but other than that, nothing. And uh, I don't even know how you could argue that, to be fair. Yeah, I thought that was just the grain of the picture. So, yeah, I agree. I personally think this is a hoax and that Green Whore tried to legitimately gain from it. And he got obsessed. Considering it was the 70s and yeah, UFOs I reckon were quite... He got obsessed with proving it was real or trying to convince people it was real and his wife got fed up with it. I mean, yeah, I think she just had enough and left. Um, if that's not true apologies, that's quite the allegation. <laughs> that is, to be honest. Um, the part about receiving death threats... That's, there's That's no need for shit. That. Yeah. yeah, there's no need for that at all. People ridiculing him. Yeah, you can see why if he comes out saying he saw an alien in those kind of times. Mm-hmm. And the fact that he got fired from his position, I'm not, I'm not surprised. Um, if you're meant to be the chief of police and you're running around spouting off that there's aliens around, people are taking the piss out of you anyway, so they're not going to have any faith in you at all. So at that point, you can't really have him as the police chief. Mm-hmm. So I totally understand why he's been fired there. But So there you have it. We have a case of the tinfoil alien, where I have said it is not aliens, but Greybeard said it was. Thank you. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Thank you for joining no, uh... us. Okay, he didn't. I did not say that. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for this week's Pro <laughs> of the Tin foil alien and horsebane or horsebane the tin foil alien horsebane horsebane you can find us on instagram at but it was aliens podcast our facebook page is but it was aliens and our facebook group is extraterrestrial towers we're on the twitter at but it was aliens and also on patreon dot com forward slash but it was aliens where we probe everything from Rasputin's dick to the dick of Rasputin and ghosts. And the ghost of Rasputin's dick. I'm Moonwalker, he's Greybeard, and we are But It Was Aliens. Remember, the truth is up there. So keep your tinfoil hats on. Hash tag pro. Probe I will. Probe I will. Mmm. Gravy.